special shout out to executive producer Faye for sponsoring this reaction. Focusing on a range of TV shows, Faye is happy connecting with the community of those with JD type fantasies in their head. Fix include a lot of TV shows from the 2000s as well as DC Comics and Disney. Hopefully, something for everyone to enjoy. Be sure to check out Faye's fan fiction account in the link below. Thanks again, Faye, for sponsoring this reaction. Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Scrubs, season one, episode number 17. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Let's go. All right, we just got one comment from Jason who says, I had forgotten how little Ted appears in the first season. The rarity makes his appearance that appearances that much better. He's going to dig into your hearts. I can see that coming. I can see that being a thing. Ted, huh? The lawyer. Yeah. All right, let's get to episode 17 right now. At a certain point right in the first year, Jason. things begin to feel a little different. You've arrived, you know? You just start to feel, I'm open, cooler. Woman, woman. You see, it's a lot cooler if we don't make a big deal out of this. Right, right. First time being cool, sorry. It's him. It's him. <laughs> Whatever. The point is, we found our stride. We know all the ins and outs. Shall we? <laughs> oh my god, that's one of you two did that? <laughs> my bad. Both of you? Player! <laughs> Can we have an agreement? No enclosed spaces. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Mrs. Winston is back to the home for you. Elliot, that is disgusting. Seriously, Elliot. Oh. That's you know, I think you should consider a change in diet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, we've earned the right to be a little cocky. Come down, Jamie. Right. Wrong. Come <laughs> down. Hey, who the hell's wrong? And I gotta tell you, nobody can take this feeling away. Except for Dr. Cox. Nobody. Oh, thank goodness, it's the Moth Squad. Because after months of having to do everyone else's scut work, we're finally not the lowest people on the totem pole. Mm. They got a new one. Okay. You three, all excited. <laughs> you see, today, we get our very own med students. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Give me some hungry chicken. You're not hungry enough. Give me some more. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. Yes, it is. I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. scared they are. It's like we're cheetahs and they're a pack of gazelles. I'm Dr. Bob Kelso and I'm your chief of medicine. Now, I want to encourage you all to think of me as your safety net because I promise you we're a family here. Okay, let's go get them, doctors. They're actually buying it. The devil's greatest trick was convincing the world he didn't exist. Baby! Yeah! <laughs> God, you two are dorks. I gotta go. I gotta go meet up with my med student up in surgery. Oh, any idea who you're getting? Nope, but knowing this hospital is probably someone black. <laughs> but Good knowing guy. this hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, I just think I want, I want someone I can be friends with, you know? Personally, I hope I get the biggest jerk in the bunch. I took so much crap when I was a med student that I've just been waiting for the day that I get to make someone suffer. Listen, nurse. I'm looking for a Dr. Elliot Reed. I'm Elliot Reed. Hmm. Guy's name, guy's job, guy's clothes. Is there anything else you want to tell me? You're a jerk. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. 
ice. Right there. Hey! Yeah, DJ Squall. Oh, that's who you're talking about? Yeah. Doc? Hi, I'm Dr. Dorian. <laughs> I know what this looks like, but <laughs> don't worry about it, man. I do that all the time. Really? Do you ever part your hair on the wrong side just to see what you look like to other people? <laughs> no. It totally messes everyone up. <laughs> so do you have any questions before we get started? Uh, Carla, do you actually listen to yourself when you speak, or do you find you drift in and out? Or do you find you drift in and out? Then I'm going to go ahead and continue to focus all my energies on Carla. Listening, watching, waiting. Dr. Cox, Kristen, right. Kristen, Dr. Cox. Gosh. Either you introduced me you to somebody new, yeah. or I put all my like effort hour ago. I should have taken five minutes. Oh, oh, yeah. we were just talking. This guy, he is the bomb. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, 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 bye. Moving on. See you later. Help someone else. I'm sorry. Relax, Bambi. Be nice to Thumper. He broke down the guy's sweats when he exercises. I do. I'll call Ripley's. Relax. It's just one mistake. Baby, she calls him Thumper. So Bambi and Thumper? It's just one mistake. Oh, no, I didn't get that. Good night, Thumper. Cool. Great first day, Dr. Dorian. Yeah, it was. Okay. Look at that big ass bandage you put on there. Relax, Bambi. It's just one mistake. Yes, Carla. They're each one mistake, but when you put them all together, it makes like four million mistakes. Did you just snap at me? Because I think he just snapped at me. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Carla, I gotta go home. Hold it, Q-Tip. You have to co-sign all these orders, spit out a vascular consult on bed three, and get a talk screen from Mrs. O'Brien. No, no, but Josh did all this. Uh-uh, honey. I don't think so. Just trip to Miss O'Brien, I'm afraid I'm going to need a urine sample. Miss O'Brien. Well, Bob, I hope you're taking very good care of my hospital. Here you are, Jackass. Dr. Reed, <laughs> say hello to Whitaker Chambers. What up? What up? Whitaker Chambers is the CEO of the corporation that owns this hospital. So I suggest you stop acting like LL Cool Reed and start acting like cool Dr. Reed. Reed. Dig. But why would he want to meet me? Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, son. Oh, shit. Uh, of course. Oh, cookies. Uh, of course. It was really nice to meet you. Yeah. Same here, Doctor. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Dr. Cox. I was going to take Kristen out for a beer after work. Would you like to join us? No. No, I can't do it. No. No, no. Is he okay? No, not really. No, I can't do it. Is he playing him? So she's he's gonna go out with this girl, then go back and tell Carla that Turk's out at the bar with his Ooh, cool dead dog. Can I get him? Is he kidding? I came by because I know I didn't do so great yesterday, but what what is it that tipped you off? Was it your uh, inability to perform even the simplest task? I'll bet it was the fact that I only got home 20 minutes ago because I spent the entire night cleaning up after you. I'm sorry. Um, I was just really scared. Well, you know what, Josh? You should be scared. Because I gotta be honest with you. I don't think you got what it takes. Do you? I didn't think so. You can stare at me all you want. I'm still not going to feel bad about what I said to Josh. You don't scare me, woman. I'm so sorry. I'll apologize at rounds. Oh, Nurse Roberts. <coughs> you said Josh. Natalski, he quit. Nice job, Bambi. I didn't mean for that to happen. He quit. I didn't. You don't have to apologize to me. You will have to answer to Jesus. So <laughs> no, After what happened with Josh, I did what any good person would do. 
Run. I went looking for confirmation that it wasn't my fault. Okay, here's what happened. I mean, he was screwing up constantly. It's not like I forced him to quit. I just don't think it's my fault he quit. I don't know. I think most of the bad things that happen around here are your fault. I think everyone I was talking to her. Well, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. Even Nurse Roberts says he's the most incompetent young doctor she's ever worked with. Hey, Laverne, what you... But, thanks for trying. So, uh, where are you from? Chicago. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. Family? What? Family. Brothers, sisters, you know. One older brother. What about you? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep the focus on you. I thought I made that clear to you. Are your parents still together? Yep. Do you have any idea how hard you're making this on me? No, but I'm kind of wondering if someone slipped something into my soda. Oh, he has an effect on everyone the first couple of weeks. I, I gotta go. We, uh, we'll pick this up later. Pick what up? He had a really hard time talking to a <laughs> <laughs> Show me your ass. Oh, not a strong move with the tiny whiteies. Uh, Show me your ass. He <laughs> did it anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if that don't work. Yeah. Doctor, if you're not going to help, get the hell out of my face and just go away with your trust fund to the church. Doctor Reed, can I see you a minute? Do Doctor Kelso, I am so, so sorry. Frustrated plus I'm PMSing. Well, not exactly. The pill plays major havoc with my cycle. I'm like, ah! Dr. Reed, you talk too much. It's a problem. Now, why are you doing all of your med students' work? Well, his father. I hate his father, but I'm the one who has to suck up to him, not you. For God's right. sake, woman, show some cojones. I'm She's the one like, who got Elliot's like, that's how, like, oh, that's how I needed it. Yeah. Because I was it's doing hard. that trying to figure out how to reach somebody. I guess the only thing to do is think of someone that I look up to and remember how they first got through to me. Newbie, the only way you could be less productive right now is if you were, in fact, the wall in which you're leaning against. Of course, then you'd be providing some jackass with a wall in which to lean against and reflect on what a jackass he truly is. I know. Here it's a conundrum, but don't you worry about it. I'll tackle that one right upstairs. In the meantime, I'll tackle that one. Please <laughs> pretend to be doing some work, and right about now, even though you don't have your basket, oh, it's just a terrific time for you to skip away, Shirley. Skip away. Skip away. Skip away. Skip away. But don't you worry about that. I'll but tackle I that. Was... <laughs> that to me. Hello, Philip. Lemonhead. <laughs> yeah, I get it because of the hair. Listen, admittedly, I was kind of hard on you from oh, the start, but. On the other hand, as I'm sure you know, you're an incredible tool. So I'll lay off if you drop the attitude and we'll just start completely fresh. What do you think? I don't wanna. But if you've got a problem with that, go go see my father. I think I'll do that. Oh, uh, wait, Dr. Wait. Uh, hey! I had some time to think about it, and um, what the hell, let's start fresh. Uh, Philly, I don't wanna. Mm. I don't want to. Sorry we got to interrupt. We'll talk to you later. It's okay. Where were we? I was telling you that my parents were still married and then you yelled at me. Right, of course I did. That's me all over. Why are you washing your hands? I don't honestly know, to tell you the truth. I'm, I guess it's because I don't have anything of interest to say. You have nothing to worry about because I got something to say. Dr. Cox, you are an attending. So you should know that it is highly inappropriate for you to be sniffing around this woman all day long. And you, you are a med student who should be learning from me, but every time I turn around, you're talking to him. So I'm telling you right now, I forbid you to get involved with that guy. Sorry, doctor. You do realize, of course, that you just effectively signed your own death warrant. Do, do you, like, know any women at all? Do it. That works for everybody. There you go. Here's your preferred Dr. Comox. You like strong women, don't you? Are you kidding me? They're the only ones I've ever in my life. This is way too easy. Baby, <laughs> bring it on. Stop talking. Mission orders, and I got blood cultures that you wanted. Good. I'm beat it. I'm eating. <laughs> Elliot, you ball busted. I knew I wasn't a cracker. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think a lot of us get freaked out when med students come because it feels like being forced to accept new people into your family. It changes everything. Me, I was more struck by how these newbies made me look at myself. Who I used to be. He's gonna be trash. Who I am now. He's not gonna get that much better. He might get better. <laughs> and who I might someday become. But hopefully not too soon. Player, hold me now. <laughs> Such drugs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, that was episode 17 of Scrubs, and I thought that was a good episode, man. I mean, we got some new new people that they can torture when they come through. Uh, it'd be nice if they keep rotating that around. We get different characters coming on, being new, that they can boss around and do stuff. Uh, look, everybody's still finding themselves. Um, the, the family, though, is, is getting more and more a family, as you can see with Dr. Cox. And um, uh, what's the surgeon? They, they Turk. Was Turk. Turk was helping them out. So we got some bonding going on there, but he is still in love with his girlfriend. So uh, shit will be interesting, but I love this episode. It's just another one in the, um, in the Scrubs repertoire, and I just can't wait to see more. I think what's so unique about Scrubs, too, and why I feel like you don't have like those filler-type episodes that we typically say is because each episode has a lesson or like there's growth. It's growth-oriented, mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't feel like it stagnates. I mean, we're 17 episodes in, and we haven't said one time it felt like yeah. a filler episode, which is so not typical to us. Um, so I just had to speak on that briefly because I find that very impressive. Um, I absolutely love this episode. Being somebody that watches like the Grey's Anatomy and all of that, anytime we have, you know, introduce the new blood, so to speak, it creates a really fun dynamic because it does allow for a lot of self-reflection on where our main characters were when they first started versus mm -hmm. now they're in a position of leadership. And I always like that dynamic. I think it works really well. And once again, it works really well here. Um, the MVP of this episode, I don't know, Turk is definitely like my favorite. Um, um, Cox, Cox and Turk are right there uh, as far as my favorite characters, but I just feel like Turk has leveled up since the beginning of the, the season, yeah, too, yeah. as far as, like, his, what he's, he's provided. Yeah, his maturity, mm -hmm. as far as his, like, uh, contribution as a friend, too. And even, I mean, just to, to help out Cox in a way, knowing that, that he's, like, gunning for Carla, too, and not holding that against him. I just think it speaks so much to Turk's character. Um, and I absolutely love, like, him setting up uh, Cox to have the actual date uh, with the newbie, too. So I thought all yeah. that worked really, really yeah. well. But I'm uh, to your point, too, I'm super interested in how this plays out in the long run between Turk, Carla, and Dr. Cox. Like, there's going to... Obviously, they planted this for a reason, and there's going to be something that, like grows from that you know yeah, so it'll be yeah. interesting to see how that all plays out yeah. and like uh last point i totally agree with you as far as like the family dynamic i'm so glad we moved past the elliot and jd dating thing because it was super awkward and now it feels like they're so solidified as like best all of them yeah, feel like best friends, friends. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it feels seeing them walk in at the beginning too was so cute like you could just it feels like friendship vibes 100 percent. like it feels yeah. so authentic yeah. in that um, but yeah, another solid episode, and I can't wait to see where we go from here. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Screw Up Season 1, Episode 17. And until next time, people.